What's up everybody, I am Jesse or Game Over Jesse and here with me once again is Avrith to discuss Dragon Ball Super and some theories and speculation that we might have. If you haven't caught any of the previous videos, we've already talked about how we think the Universal Survival Arc will end, who will be declared the winner of the wish, what we think the next story arc will be, and speculation on who will be left in the tournament when it will end. Uh, he has a theory that there will be five people left in Universe 7, which I completely disagreed with. But you can go back and listen to some of those conspiracies, theories, and debates if you would like. But for now, we're going to talk about another small theory about the participants in the Universal Survival Arc, or the Tournament of Power, are actually holding back. Now, disclaimer, this is not my theory. This is just something that I came across on... Uh, there's actually plenty of videos already out there about this, but I thought it would be a good discussion topic. Uh, not sure who originally created it, but I've seen at least four or five videos talking about it. Uh, but what are your thoughts on this, Avrith? Uh, that the teams in the tournament are holding back. Now, the theory is that the reason Goku can go Super Saiyan Blue and not completely demolish one of the regular Super Saiyans from the other universe is because even though he's universe, or he's not universe, even though he's Super Saiyan Blue, he's not using it to its full potential. He's using it as, uh, basically as like, he has a bank of all this energy that he can use, but he's only using a little bit of it at a time as opposed to going all out. So we're like maybe Super Saiyan 3 at 100% would be at like 10%. I'm not really sure what the power scaling is here. There's a lot of debate on it, but for just as yeah, a... Yeah, that, that one's a... That's a debate yeah. for another day entirely. But just as a quick example, let's say that Super Saiyan 3 at 100%, Super Saiyan 3 Goku at 100%, would be equal to 10% of what Super Saiyan Blue could do. Mm -hmm. But with Super Saiyan 3, we know it's a huge drain on the body, to where a Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan Blue isn't that big of a drain. So, by going Super Saiyan Blue and using only 10% of the power... He would be equal to what he would be doing at Super Saiyan 3, but he would have a huge reserve of energy to tap into as opposed to letting it all run out in Super Saiyan 3. Um, so that's basically why Kel and Khalifa, uh, the fusion of them, uh, Kefla, mm -hmm. is able to hold their own against someone who has been on par with a god um well there, there's a whole other explanation for that but go on yeah so that's basically like what it is it's like the reason that these more powerful people aren't instantly like because you would imagine a kamehameha from a super saiyan blue would just completely kill one of like a normal super saiyan yet mm -hmm. they're able to fight back and hold their own and the theory is yeah. it's because even though they have access to all this power, they're holding back because if they did go full out, almost every attack would be an instant kill on the other people, which would get them disqualified. Yeah. Um, and then we've even seen Frieza. Like, if Frieza, if you could kill in the tournament, Frieza would most likely have the highest kill count. He would instantly go golden Frieza and then kill everyone that he could as quick as he could. Uh, with that tracking Emperor Death being Yeah, and then, like, even if he's just going around shooting a laser with his finger through everyone's head. Like, we've seen Frieza do stuff like that before to where, like, he killed Krillin just shooting him one time in the chest in the original uh, Namek storyline, so... Well, he um, he picked him up with his mind and exploded him. Oh, That's who was it that there. he shot in the chest and killed? Piccolo. Piccolo, okay. Uh, he didn't kill him, but he nearly yeah, did. Feel free to leave all your hate about my wrong accusations in the comments below. Had a few little Don't mix worry, ups there. People. Just remember, anime is trash and so are we. Yeah. And then uh, we have also 
uh, the Saiyan. Oh, I forgot his name. He's an important character, though. Uh, we theorized him. Uh, Kaba? A, yeah, Kaba. He has a lot to do with uh, the next potential story arc that we talked about earlier. But we've seen Frieza, because he is so demented, didn't just knock him out of the ring. He literally tortured him. Yeah. So, uh, as sick and demented as Frieza is, I believe, if they were going full power he would have just ran around killed everyone but he's playing it smart holding back his power which is why you only briefly see him go gold and then with vegeta goku and everyone they're holding like they're all holding back as well um yeah i mean if they don't hold back then there's a slight issue there (laughs) yeah like you would theoretically see super saiyan blue vegeta just punch one of the other characters and they're kill dead. them. Yeah, but they're like just holding back. So that's my thoughts on it. I thought it was a good theory um, because it they also make... have to reserve all of their energy so they don't run out at all at once. Yeah, yeah but... which would make it a lot easier on them to not have to kill anybody because it's just like we could probably do it easily, but let's not. Yeah. So, what are, what are your thoughts on this, Avrith? Like, do you agree with this? Do you think it makes sense? Do you think it's stupid? I think it makes sense that they are holding back because, oh yes, I'm going to check Krillin to see if he can go up against me. He goes blue for an instant, and he could have killed Krillin right there. But yeah. Just got way too excited. And then 18's the one who pretty much is like, nope. Yeah. And see, that was another thing. I think that wasn't just Goku going max power. I think that was him training himself to be at his strongest form, but only use a percentage of that power. Yeah, uh, if I remember their training right, the way they unlocked Blue was they had to keep all that energy inward. But if you notice, Blue, that energy is exuding out of them. So I do think that the idea... Him holding back is also part training as well, so I could. That's what I can see. Uh, but that, that could be probably how Vegeta gains uh, if he has a new form, a new form, because he found out I could hold even blue energy back. Yeah, similar to the different stages of Super Saiyan One, and then when Gohan finally goes Super Saiyan Two, to where yeah. you see Trunks and Vegeta getting almost as strong as a super saiyan 2 but they're incredibly slow to whereas if they would have perfected it then they would have had all that power and more with all the speed that comes with it uh so the same with super saiyan blue it's stronger than super saiyan god or super saiyan red but it's a huge waste of energy especially when goku has the kaioken times 20 stacked on top of it yeah And we noted this, that his energy is leaking out exponentially in uh, Ultra Instinct, which, again, has been a thing that he's not supposed to let happen. Yeah. Maybe that means that Vegeta has some form of Ultra Instinct to a degree, and that's how he blew up the hyperbolic time chamber, but that's that's Mm. neither here nor there. Even more speculation. Hey... I, I, I noticed that speculation's how a lot of Zelda theories can be formed too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've That's that's my job to speculate. Hey, it works out as long as the story is good. I'm I'm fine on that. Yeah. So uh just a quick recap on all of this. How do you think this discussion went? Cuz I think that brings us to the end of uh the teams holding back. There's not really much more that we can say. Like we yeah, I mean... we've seen examples of Goku not using his full power, otherwise, whenever he's in an energy blast or whatever, uh, where they're pushing back each other's energy waves, he would have completely killed the other Saiyans. Uh, Frieza could easily kill everyone. Gohan, um, as Ultra Gohan. Uh, Sorry, what were you saying? That's why, uh, I was going to say, that's why uh, the Berserker form of, I think it was Khalifla or Kale, I, 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 I keep getting him confused. But um, either way, the legendary Super Saiyan form, that's why they were considered so dangerous, because they weren't holding back. Yeah. That, that's part of that topic. It's just like, yeah, they probably are holding back, because when someone doesn't, it looks like there's mass devastation and destruction everywhere. Yeah. That does I mean, make sense with uh, the female 
properly because uh like since she's not holding back that would mean someone fighting her would need to not hold back either and then not only does it give the chance of that person killing you but it also gives you a higher chance of killing that person because if you present an attack to stop someone who's at that level but they're not prepared for it where we seen the female broly wasn't in control at all uh it was just like attack 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 instead of yeah. like actually strategizing on when to defend and when to attack mm -hmm. so since it was all offense and not really any defense she might not have been prepared for an attack so like a simple attack from a super saiyan blue could likely as powerful as the legendary super saiyan is i don't think it would be anywhere close to what a super saiyan god would be yeah, uh, it, it's Kale. That's the one who keeps turning. Uh, who is the legendary Super Saiyan's name? Yeah, but um, yeah, I the whole not controlling thing does happen to seem to be connected to. They're a lot more dangerous to themselves and everybody else. I mean, shoot, if they uh, had the Ozaru form at any point, that <laughs> would make them. Who knows what that could do? Like, I'm going to gather Dragon Balls. I wish for my tail back. I'm going to make that fake moon, and that's the tournament of power. <laughs> Who's it's Vegeta that makes the fake moon, right? Yep. All right, so he could still potentially do that. Well, he if he had his tail, he could easily just like, I got blue, and now I'm going to be ten times more powerful in Ozaru blue form. <laughs> yeah, it looked like he was going to like a punk concert or something. You know, <laughs> just right? like a giant blue ape. Uh, yeah, but that brings us to the very end. Thank you, Avrith, for joining. Uh, for those that may be interested in finding out more from you, whether that's on YouTube, Twitter, or wherever, where could they go? I'm, I'm more on Twitch these days, uh, on Avrith1122. That's my, uh, Twitch name. If, uh, you just want to contact me, Twitter's the easiest location, because that's, for some reason, the only one that doesn't mess with people you can also find me on game over jesse's uh discord server and that's how you can communicate with me there too <laughs> yeah and for everybody watching uh this is our first dragon ball super video uh if it does well then expect more and if avarice had a lot of fun doing this as well he's more than welcome to come back so let us know and in the future we might actually have some video instead of just audio so let us know what you thought of it let us know how you think it could be improved uh what other dragon ball z youtube channels you would like to have on um we're hoping to have on the youtube channel mad dbz sometime in the next week or so so it's all looking pretty good and for those who tuned in that were just fans of my zelda videos if you liked this then thank you if you didn't then I apologize, but maybe you shouldn't have watched the video. <laughs> and anyone who's a weeb like me, just message me on Jesse's Discord server. We can talk. <laughs> yes, yes, I may actually. Uh, on my Discord server, I had a channel or a chat that was for TVs and movies, but I recently changed it to anime, TV, and movies to be more clear that people could talk about anime. But I might just make one specifically for anime or Dragon Ball Z. Um, that way people know what to talk about when they go there. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Thank you, Avrith, for joining. No problem. Alright, and I will talk to you all later. The videos on this channel are funded by supporters on Patreon like you. If you're a fan of this channel and would like to join on videos, receive shoutouts, watch videos early, have your questions answered, or have your topic discussed on our podcast, please consider supporting on Patreon for these and many other rewards for just $1. Shoutouts for this video includes Link Use the Triforce, Rusty Caulfield, Lovable Christy, Give Time 15, Shadow to Us, Robbie Morgan, and Lunarium. I want to thank all of you for everything you have done to help support this channel.